was Earth about to get hit by an asteroid, and Jupiter didn't even try to save him. He's just sitting over there doing absolutely nothing. I need to go talk to him about this. Hey guys, Saturn's coming. He looks mad. Seems like everyone's angry these days. Come on, Io. What, Ganymede? After everything with Earth and Mars and the asteroid, everyone seems to be angry. Ugh, drama. Shh, guys, he's coming. Jupiter, we need to talk. What is it, Saturn? Well, Earth almost got hit by an asteroid. Saturn, this is the sixth time I've told you this. Saving the inner planets from asteroids is not always my responsibility. You know very well that it is, and it's not very rich. Shut it! I don't want to hear it! I've tried my best to explain, and you won't stop bothering me! And I am tired, so how about you just leave? Uh, oh uh, uh, sorry. Well, that was unexpected. Sure was. Anyway, Io, you said Mars started this? Yep, Mars convinced Earth to throw an asteroid at himself, from what I've heard. Huh, wonder what he's up to now. <sighs> Killing his Earthlings is way too far. Maybe it's a good thing. He'll get rid of them. That's for sure. Mars! Looks like you've got some explaining to do. Oh, hey, Luna. Look, I just... How dare you convince Earth to do such a horrible thing? Think about it. Eight billion innocent lives killed because of you! Luna, if you give me time to talk, then I'll explain... But luckily, I saved him from it. Think about it. What if you had life? Why are you sad? You don't remember, do you? Around three billion years ago, I used to be habitable. I'm very sure I had life then. Me, Earth, and Venus all had life. But then, I lost my life due to my magnetic field going away. It was sad. But then humans came on Earth, and by each passing year they got more advanced, to the point where it bothers everyone. I want my own Martians back, not those Earthlings! That's still not an excuse to do what you did! I'm going to talk to Earth. I hope he'll understand one day. I wonder when he'll be back. Hey Earth! Hey Luna, you're back! Well, I talked to Mars and he said that he wants his own Martians back, and not the Earthlings. Of course, he always misses them. Oh, and is it true that billions of years ago, you, Mars, and Venus all had life? Yes, it is, in fact. For some reason, I can't remember those times. Oh, probably just because you were young. I can't remember anything after... the incident. What is the incident? That's a story for another day. Oh, well, I'm going to go to my orbit. Talk to some quasi-moons. Hello, Mars. Ah, who are you? Why are you here? You must not remember me. I'm Ceres, the biggest object in the asteroid belt, smallest dwarf planet. Oh, of course, Ceres. How could I forget? Well, I just wanted to talk to you about something for a second. Now, what? You know who? Oh, well, what is it then? Well, a decade ago, humans sent some spacecraft around me. It ran out of fuel or something, and then it's still orbiting me today! That's horrible! I know, right? And also, one of their probes crashed into one of my asteroids in my friend Vesta's asteroid collection. She said it was for her favorite one! Ugh. Anyways, what are your experiences with the Earthlings? 
Ugh, they won't stop bothering me. They keep sending rovers on my surface, and it itches. It seems like they're targeting me for some reason. That's bad. Anyways, Mars, do you know any other planets that hate the Earthlings? Uh, well, Uranus? He was mad at Earth for spying on him. Hmm, anyways, I was wondering if you and me would like to... team up.